Good morning. New in selected theaters and on video on demand, Jeremy Pibbin stars in Last Call. A casino would resurrect the area, don't you think? Did you forget where your keys from? Hey. Oh, uh, no, 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 at this time. The bucket! You're gonna help me with the pub that was good to your family for all these generations. You make I remember would never pass by the house without saying hello. Hello, Mrs. C. I heard that you sold out. In the film, a real estate developer returns to his old Philly neighborhood and must decide to bulldoze or resurrect the family bar. He's a bit of a slave to his ambition, and yeah. he's gonna gentrify his entire neighborhood for his own profit and gain. Um, and dismantle the, you know, the, the neighborhood businesses. Um, and the family-owned businesses, his own. Um, so it's, it's a little bit of a metaphor for what's going on right now and a celebration of family-owned businesses, ultimately. Last Call, at its core, is a change-of-heart movie. But the film, which seems mostly improvised, is overly saccharine and much too manipulative and even insulting in places. Although Jeremy Piven's performance is watchable, the film, as a whole, just fails to be engaging. Again, Last Call is available in selected theaters and on video on demand. It gets a D and is rated R. Six Minutes to Midnight is a World War II thriller written and starring Eddie Izzard. Is this your first visit to Beck's Hill? Yes, it is. You come recommended by an agency. Not of different schools, I see. Thank you. That wasn't a compliment. There's been an alliance between England and Germany here yeah, for many years. What sort of Englishman would accept a post teaching Herr Hitler's League of German Girls? The Führer would have us, sir. Based on true events, a teacher at an all-girls finishing school discovers a Nazi conspiracy and becomes an operative for the British High Command. I'm a patron of the museum. The museum curator showed me this badge for the girls' school, which had a, uh, the British flag on it, but the Nazi flag as well on the same badge. I thought British flag and Nazi flag together? Mm. What is that about? He said German girls, they were learning English, they were making friends with... British aristocracy, who were, quite a lot of them were into the Nazis, Edward VIII was very uh, positive about Hitler. And so that, I thought there's a film there. As soon as I saw the, uh, the blazer badge, I thought there's a film in that. Offering a stellar cast, including Judy Dench, James Darcy, and Jim Broadbent, Six Minutes to Midnight is all about resistance and honor, making it one of the most intriguing films of the year. Six Minutes to Midnight is available in selected theaters and on video on demand. It gets an A and is rated PG-13. Nickelodeon has launched a young adult series called Drama Club. Maybe. Drama Squad, huddle up! Yo, what is this big room, huh? Um, Mackenzie, what is an athlete doing here? Yeah, did you get us a dance, Captain? Meet your new captain, Bench Logan. Woo! Bench Logan? Bench Logan. Bench Logan is my best friend. Drama Club follows a group of middle schoolers as they find their hidden talents and passion for performing. It is the most amazing cast. It's so much fun. This set is so joyful and we all as a cast have such amazing chemistry and you can really tell and we all love to do improv with each other and the writing is so good it is just a blast drama club is a watchable teen series focusing on teamwork compassion and discovering inner strength again it's available exclusively on nickelodeon and gets a b it's rated tvpg for abc4 I'm film critic Tony Toscano.